All right, hello from Indy. I'm going to do another, might not be short video this time. Uh, last time we went over V8 uh, engine castings and where they were done at the Indianapolis Foundry. And today I'm going to talk about the B and the RB engine and uh, just some general information on them that uh, is kind of good for everybody to know if you don't know it already. Hopefully you can also use this video as a quick reference. Um, so anyway, um, the big differences between the uh, your B engine and your RB engine, which your B engines are going to be your 383 and your Chrysler 400s and the earlier 361s if you're so interested. Um, the RB engine would be the 413, the 426, and the 440 engine. Um, as far as weight of the blocks, um, there's only about a 10 pound difference, about 215 pounds for a bare block like this. And, and it does weigh that. I tested on my wife's scale. Hopefully she's not watching. And uh, 215 for a RB or a 440. Uh, but the primary difference is your main bearing bore diameters. Um, and for a B engine, that's 2.625 inches. And for an RB, your main bearing bore diameter is going to be 2.750. Uh, and then the other big difference is your crank center line to your deck surface um, is 9.980 for all the B engines. And for the RB engine, it is 10.725. Um, and then interchange um, internally, of course, the camshaft, it, it go in a, you can take a camshaft out of a 440 and put it right in a 383, no problem. The timing chain, that's because this distance here is the same. There's no difference. From your crank center line to your deck surface, there is a difference. And that's what we're talking about when I talked about the deck surface. And this is your main bore diameter. Um, internally... Of course, you, the crankshaft is not the same, the rods, the pistons. Uh, but the other things are the oil pan's the same, the water pump housing, the cylinder heads on a 383 and a 440, they're the same cylinder heads. Uh, everything on the outside basically is the same except for the intake manifolds are different, and that's because your deck height is different. So I made a few cheat sheets here to help you guys out. First of all, by looking at an engine sitting in a car in a junkyard, there's a few things we can do to help us identify it. Do the distributors in the front? So that does tell us that it's going to be a big block. If it was a 318 or a 360, the distributor's in the back. This one has two machine pads on each side. That means it's a B engine. If it was an RB, it'd have a raised pad right up here. Um, so that's the first thing that would help us identify it. Then the next thing we can do is we can go look at this raised pad right here. One thing I want to point out before I forget. On a 383 and a 440, the 383, this machine pad here is narrower. It's a little bit wider on a 440. So that bar will not interchange, and that's why your intakes are different. But anyway, back to this. If we look at this, we'll see it says 7T400. So I made you a little cheat sheet here. For engine codes for when you go junkyard hunting you can use this on youtube and this is all your years and you see in the bottom right there 7t so this is a 1977 engine the 400 is very self-explanatory it's a 400 engine next thing we want to look at is we see this a get this to focus a e on the bottom here and i made you another little cheat sheet and that'll tell us I'll get this set up so you can read it. What all those different numbers and symbols are going to mean. So A means this is a zero or point two <laughs> sorry point zero two zero oversized cylinder bore on this engine. And the E means it has a cast crankshaft. Now, not to muddy the waters at all. 
but this engine should have a 0 0.020 oversized cylinder bore and it does not it is a standard bore i have measured and measured and measured double triple quadruple checked that's a mistake unless it means something else um, but it certainly did have a cast crankshaft some other things you may notice stamped here again here was your cheat sheet but you may see over here um, 69 70 72 i think specifically is you may see like hp or hp2 that's just high performance but i'm not going to go through and read all these you can you can go you can get them off your engine you can look at these and you can figure out what they mean one last cheat sheet i made for you guys is your bore and stroke combinations so if you see here your 413 has a bore of 4180 and all of your RB engines, your 413, your 426, the 440, they all have the same stroke, right? 3.750. All of your B engines have the same stroke, 3.38. The difference is going to be in your bores. The 400 has a bore of 4.340. 383 is 4250. So there's your cheat sheet. You can use that in the junkyard also. Those are your common engines you're going to be looking for. And then again, for your common B engines, here you go, if you're in a junkyard. And if you're a new guy and you don't understand, this is your bore right here. And that's, that's just some, maybe some useless information. A few other things, again, we've already, sorry, Blocking the camera there with my hand. You've already seen this in the other, this is the same engine block in the other video. You can just tell now it's been cleaned. Uh, there's your casting. There's your manufacturer date, which looks like it's 126.77. Another video, I thought it said 125, but didn't. Then again, we go to the other side. This is all review stuff here. You see it's made on the day sh shift. Here's your casting number again, and then if you want to know if you're if you have a car and you want to know if you have the original engine in it on the passenger side of the block you can see down here low there's this machine pad and you can see there's numbers stamped into that it's really hard to see but those numbers right there should the last six numbers on this pad i'm sorry for the lighting the last six numbers on the pad would match your VIN on your car. Okay, I hope uh, there's some useful information in this, and if anyone sees anything that needs corrected, uh, please do let me know. Later.